Hey everybody, back with another video. Um, one of the downsides, I guess, of, or the benefits, I don't know, but of doing some arcade repair is everybody in my family thinks I can fix anything. So here we have a Wii system that is making a little bit of noise and does not seem like it's recognizing the disc. It doesn't take discs in. It is making some grinding noise. It's a little bit... seems like it's gummed up or something. And maybe the laser's not reading it. I don't even know if the disc is going all the way in. Then it comes out real slow. So I figured I would take it apart and um, it's working. I mean, beyond the CD drive. So take it apart and see what we come up with. I'm not going to film, you know, actually taking it apart. You know, you got to remove screws and take off these pads. And I watch somebody else's YouTube videos and stuff like that. But anyway, <clears throat> you can watch somebody else's video on how to take it apart. I'm just going to document what I'm doing. And if I, in case I find something interesting that's worth sharing. So I'm going to take it apart and see and come back. All right, I have everything take the case taken off. I um, probably don't need this SD card in there. Um, you can definitely see there's definitely some fuzz and stuff. There's a gear right there. I think I'm going to power it up. I might blow some of this dust off first. I'm not sure, but I'll probably just power it up and see if it's even taking the disc in um, all the way. Let me hook that back up. All right, it's powered off. I'm just going to power it on. So that noise is definitely coming from over here, the little gear mechanism there. And then I have a disc. Maybe I should plug in. A TV. Where's my disc at? A little wee thing here. Hmm. It's definitely not spinning, so it's almost like it's not going, getting all the way in. Like something's preventing it from going all the way in. That's what it looks like. Maybe there's some stuff in here that's preventing the disc from going all the way in and then been being um, sunk back down or seeding into the, the mechanism fully. So let me try maybe r removing this top part here and then blowing the dust out or seeing if there's any obstruction in there. All right, it was just one, two, three, four, five, six screws. This little sensor here is still connected to the top part. You just lift that up. Hopefully, um, maybe it's better to kind of disconnect that. Let me see. Don't want to put any. I might. I'm going to disconnect this just so there's not a tension. I don't want to break that. Interesting. I don't. I was just blowing compressed air, and I don't know. I have to go back and watch the video, but. This looks, this little band here looks like it has come off. I don't know if that was part of our problem or not. I was just blowing some, compre some compressed air, trying to clean it up. Let me uh, fix this band and see if, um, put that on this pulley right here. See if that helps our situation. All right, even without that sensor, I'm just going to power it up. Might be a little confused now without that sensor being there. Try a disc. What what I do? All right. Looks like I do need that sensor. Let me put that back on. All right. Got that back on. disc hmm 
Hmm. Something about the motor not bringing this thing all the way back for some reason. Because I think this should like lock most likely or something. See this right here to me it seems like it should go further. Let me just try cleaning the, the laser maybe. That's the problem, not sure. Well, I didn't show it, but I was basically messing with this mechanism right here, and I was finally able to get the disc to seat in there and this to clamp down, and then the uh, motor ran. So I'm gonna eject it and see if we can, um, can. see how do I eject? <laughs> Where the heck is that button? I see it right there, it's right under here. All right, the eject worked fine. So yeah. Something to do with this latch. I don't know if it's bent in there. That little thing right there, I'm gonna have to see what's up with that latch because it's working, it's just not latching down very easily or the mechanism is broken in here or something. Hmm. I wonder if it's because this is definitely jacked up this little mechanism here it might just be worth buying a new CD because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that mechanism with all those little plastic parts that might be broken or something but the disc is definitely working we can see all right so I've been messing with it and I just really can't figure it out exactly. I lu I lubricated this mechanism here. I just can't figure out why. Maybe this motor here is not strong enough. Maybe this band has worn and it's not as tight as it once was um, to generate the force to latch that all the way down. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's because I don't have the the top part of the mechanism in. I was looking at that to see if there was something unique or different about how that's set up right there but it's not obvious to me i put this on there as well i don't know if i filmed that but i had this on there tightened everything up still not working right so and i also i can see that this this right here this gear right here i think is broken and it's making noise so i just went ahead and ordered a replacement drive Obviously, not a perfect fix, but I figured I'd put this in there um, and see if this uh, fixes the problem permanently. Be right back. All right, I got the camera off to the side. But anyway, you remove these four screws. There's four screws right here, here, and here. They look like this. And then you're able to take this off. And if I, there's like a cable, this little white cable here kind of gets pushed up underneath this little gap right there to give you some, enough room, I guess, or slack to take this off. I'm just going to disconnect that. And this probably has a little lip, I bet, yep. So it's pretty easy to remove. I'm gonna put this new one in. Let's see if I can do it here. Damn, I ain't gonna be able to do that with the camera in the way.
All right, that's not too bad. All right, that's on there. Plug it in. Hopefully it works. Oh, actually, let me tuck that. I know you can't see it, but I want to tuck that back in there. There we go. Okay. Let's plug this thing in. Alright, I have no idea how well that's going to turn out. Um, because I wasn't looking at through the camera when I was putting it back together. But definitely, new CD drive definitely fixed it. it. Looks way better. It's way much quieter. Or much more quiet. Much quieter. Yeah, that's what, whatever. <clears throat> definitely sounds good. I mean, the CD drive, I got it from Amazon. I think it was 30 bucks. You can get them on eBay for 20 if you want to wait. I didn't want to wait more than a couple of days, so it's worth the extra 10 bucks for me. But 30 bucks, um, and it works now. So that's not too bad. I'll probably keep the other one just in case some other component goes bad. Everything's working, it seems. I just need to put these these four screws back in right here into that hole, that hole, right there, right there, and then put the case back together. And I'll, I'll link to somebody else's video about removing the case. I'm not going to actually demonstrate that. Um, but yeah, there's a quick video, hopefully. Not much really to show, um, except for taking it apart and kind of messing with that mechanism. That was my issue. Um, but this new one sounds a lot better because this gear right there, I think, has a tendency to get broken up or the threads or something. And there's that little motor there and that rubber, that band, that drive belt, I guess. Who knows what actually was the problem, but it could be any of those. But now it's working, so that's it. All right, I'll probably link to somebody else's video that has this, but these are tri-head screws. I already got the faceplate back on. Um, and you can see I have two screws holding the faceplate there, a screw right there that holds the faceplate on, and a screw on the black cover that holds the faceplate on. And this should be a little bit longer, but anyway, um, it's pretty easy to take the faceplate off, and you also have to pop off this black plate. I'm going to put that back on. So let's go ahead and put these are two tri screws, tri head screws. I'm just going to go, these are the black ones. I'm going left first so that I don't really strip out the. Um, I don't want it, it's all plastic, so you don't want to strip it. So I'm just trying to go left first until I hear a click. Doesn't really seem like it's possible though, maybe. There we go, I, I heard it. All right, we got that on. That is just a small Phillips, I think. Maybe 
It's got to be longer than that, I guess. Alright, so those two are on. And one of these was missing, actually. I think when my kids tried to remove it, they removed... They removed this one right here. I don't think it was there when I removed this before. I might have a replacement. I'm not sure. Let's see. All right, so that's there. Actually, I think that's the wrong screw for that. Over here by the battery case. I think it's one of these screws right here. These tri-head screws. Because I think this one goes in here. Well, that definitely goes there. Maybe that is right. The little black thing. The hole's not big enough for the silver one to go in there. Is it? Hmm. Let me try this. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video myself. Actually, I was getting confused a little bit. I had to take off that black cover because I had forgot to put this screw in here. Which is a tri-head. And then I believe... There should be something that goes in there, but I don't think it is a tri-head. This seems like it's too big. Yeah, that's too big for that. What the hell? This one might be slightly different. Maybe it's just like... Oh, okay. No, no, the screw that goes in there is this. There's only one tri-head that goes right there. And then you slide this thing in. Kind of have to... Fit it in this way. And then kind of come at an angle. Like that. Okay. Right, and then this long screw goes in there. Long Phillips thing comes in this side. So on this side, I think this Phillips is too short. Yep. Put our battery in here. That is a Phillips. Got a tri head there, and I know two tri heads right here.
And then we put our feet back on. I don't know if they're going to actually stick, but those feet go there. I had to pry those off. And then there's like little tabs that cover this. Little white tabs that cover that. Again, I don't know if they're going to stay, but... Probably not. <laughs> Yeah, that one's definitely not going to stay. So now I just have to figure out the screw for right there because I do not have a screw for that. This might work. I think it's too long. Not good enough for me. This little tab goes there. Again, probably need to put some extra sticky on it or something. Yeah, that's not for that. Cool. I think it's all back together. Gotta put this back on. All right, let's power it up. I think that's all the screws. These these screws up here were from the disk drive. So that's it. Things back together. Screw. Let's see if I can put it down here. Two screws there. Oh yeah, that. Two screws right here. No, I'm sorry. Two screws right here. Then two screws right there. Um, on this one, the battery cover. This little pad up there. That tri screw there. Um, yeah, there's probably about eight screws, maybe all together. Wouldn't you know it? I did end up missing one screw. I got one tr silver tri screw left. No idea where it's coming from. I think it might be over on this side, underneath this black cover. There's supposed to be two of those tri screws. I didn't see, it wasn't obvious. But whatever, it's fine. It's just one screw. Whenever you take something apart, you end up doing that. Okay, so I will link to this other guy's thread. Who He de details, um, obviously I'm not done. He details the removal of this, and I was just watching it. And the other tri-head screw that I was missing goes right there. So 
I'm gonna put that in there and then uh, then we're done so let's see if it works looks like it's working couldn't read it <laughs> that's not good all right just quick clean of the disc thank god because i was i was um hopefully that's what it is all right so we i was worried that i didn't hook up that little uh ribbon cable up correctly so anyway looks good got a wee fixed and now I can give that to my family and they can play their Wii games again. Thanks for watching, everybody.